What's going on everybody? Welcome to your indie snapshot for today. What's today? Today? Well, this video will be up on Thursday, September 6th. Yeah, you guys actually didn't get a video yesterday. Actually, did you? You might have. Um, the reason is, A, my Zomboid is finished up. If you haven't, go watch the episode to see how that ended. Two, um, I did have some Dark Side, not Dark Siders, I'm sorry, Dark Souls recorded, but the problem with that <laughs> is... I didn't realize until the end of the hour or so that I recorded that my microphone was muted. So all the progress I made, I have without without my commentary. I might do some commentary over it, um, or I'll just continue from where I left off. I mean, the progress that was made, actually, yeah, I'll probably do commentary over because there's some significant progress made in my opinion. So that's why you don't have that right now. This is going to be, like I said, Indie Snapshot, and this is The Basement. The Basement is a bunch of indie games by Ed McMullen, McMillan, rather. and uh, what Ed did uh, is he created Super Meat Boy with Team Meat, he's created Binding of Isaac, and these are a bunch of his games. And we're going to go through one by one and do an Indie Snapshot for each one of them, and we're going to play them a bit. Starting with, well, we'll figure it out, let's see, we can, can we randomize here? We've got, uh, so we got the soundtrack that comes with it, we've got... So Meat Boy, the original Flash prototype. This is what inspired Super Meat Boy. Um, we might come back to this at some point. We've got Coil. This is... not sure what this is about. Triacnid, which is a weird, like, game that I, I kind of toyed around with a little bit. We've got Aether. Space is my best friend. We've got Time for... I have been waiting for you. Um, comes from, uh, he's in, he's in Binding of Isaac as a boss. We've also got Spewer. I should not have ordered seconds. We've got Grey Matter, Cerebral Discharge. So, like I said, we're going to go one by one here. And, oh, look at that. I like that, actually. It tells you when it was released. This was released on October 6th of 2008. It took three months to make. Oh, uh, this took six months, four months, 14 days. Three months, three months, three months. So, we'll start from here and work our way back because I think Meat Boy is not that big of a deal. You can also get this cheap. It's like four or five bucks. Um, and I got a discount because I already owned Isaac and Super Meat Boy, and I'm not sure that discount might be over by now, so without further ado, let's play some Cerebral Discharge, Gray Matter, Cerebral Discharge, Normal Mode, Instructions, run into the exposed brains of enemies while avoiding flashing bullets, so move, boost, slow, and pause, killing three enemies of the same type will cause a trinity attack, blah blah blah, so it looks like it's going to be some sort of shooter, a shooter, Stress is first level. So, what we got? Oh, oh. Uh, how do I shoot again? I don't think I can shoot. Oh. oh okay, I gotta just run into them. And just avoid their attacks. Alright, that's pretty cool. Boom. Very similar art style. Even just looking at the blood, you can see the, uh, just the very Super Meat Boy ish art style going on. Oh, I died. Alright, so one hit, one death. Whoa. Looks like I got five lives. And then if we could do... I wonder if we could do... Okay, so anything in a triangle will end up dying. But we don't have to worry about that too much. So we can slow down and boost. We could do one of the... Oh. So if they kill me... Um, I just explode. That is... In my... This is in the brain? Oh, okay. I can't touch that. Alright, I get it. I get it. Whoa. Whoa. Alright, we gotta be careful. Like, sperm. Sperm in the brain, guys. Trying to hit him. Alright, we got him. Oh, come on. Anxiety, we made it to level 2. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Booyah, booyah, booyah. Come on, bring it on. Oh, come on. Alright, this game is very, very difficult. Ah! Oh. Acceptance. All right, let's go back to the title screen. All right, let's do uh, two games. So I get, I get that game. That's very interesting. Um, 
So I get gray matter. That's pretty simple. It's a pretty simple concept, actually. Let's do spewer. We'll do two per. How's that sound? Two per sounds good. If you have a level of code... Oh, the level codes? What the hell are we supposed to do here? What am I doing? I don't want to use the editor. Try again. All right, here we go. Move around with WADS. All right. If you mess up, press R to reset. You can pause the game. Okay, so it's a platformer. There's a dude watching me. Whoa. I'm so I'm like in a science lab. It looks like. Oh, a lot of stages. So platformer. Gotcha. That's cool. Whoa. That guy in the background creeping me out. All right. Next. Can I swim? All right. Easy enough. Save puke. How do I puke? I don't understand. Oh, I can... Oh, nice. You hold... If you hold the mouse button, you can vomit in the direction of the mouse cursor. You can also press spacebar to eat it back up. Oh, that's kind of awesome, actually. I really like that. So, use puke. It's like a physics-based puzzle. Uh, platformer. Cool. That's cool. Need it back up. <laughs> All right. All right. Easy enough. Saved puke. All right. Uh. I can't tell if he's happy that I'm... Oh, I wanted to eat the rest of the puke up. BAC, my blood alcohol content. Is that what that is? Um... Oh, dead. Uh... Alright, so that's not gonna... I'm trying to push myself. It's not gonna work. Uh, he just goes, like, straight to skeleton. Alright. Hmm. Alright, this one's gonna be difficult. Can I just... Oh, okay, so it's like, I use it as... Oh! Okay, I get it, though. Regurgitating. Just gonna fill this up with puke. Oh, didn't work. Flying one up. All right, I get it. Oh no! All right, that's good. We can swim in our own vomit. That works. Cool. I like this actually. It's a lot of fun. Very simple idea, as tends to be the. All right. Eh. Huh, uh. Yeah, simple. Planets aligned. Four. Oh, so this is like a random stat, obviously. Alright, what do we got when I hit this button? Simple enough. Eat the puke. Eat the goop. Ok. 
Okay. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it, though. Oh, that button up there. Let's eat everything we can. Alright, we got this, this. We can eat this and this. Cool. Get this. Eat all this up. Let's see if we can save all the puke here. I don't think we can. We're missing some somewhere. Just disappeared. Not quite sure where it went, though. Alright. So we'll do this one. We'll finish up chapter one. And we'll call that a snapshot for today. Whoop, whoop! Regurgitating. Try to use as little puke as possible. So can I reach that without using puke? No. Alright, so next is that button over there. Gotta be very careful with my puke usage here. Uh. Alright, so I should have enough... Oh no. Eh. Ah, damn it. Thought I was gonna be able to eat the puke up before I died. Jump. Jump. Nope, we're gonna... We're gonna eat as much as we can over here. Nice. Is that it, or do we have like a boss one? All right, we got like. Funding needed. Pay rent. So there's a list of things to do. So that's it. So it's like a little story, I guess we can. Can we just puke on this guy? Puking is fun. This whole puking mechanics are really, really fun. So we're just gonna eat this all up. Nice. Stomach flu. Perfect. So I'm like a virus or something. I don't know what I am. It's awesome though. You can eat things other than your own vomit. Oh, pills will make you throw up in new possibly exciting ways. Fruit fills you up and it tastes great. Oh, that is a very Isaac sound. Oh, awesome. So there's like gravity defying puke. Oh, alright. This game is going to get really cool really quick. So we just got to... So we can just like swim up this stuff. He loves his puke. I love the smile. Ed McMillan has like a great art style. I really, really love it. Or the guy whoever makes the art. If it's not him, whoever makes it. Cool. So I think that's what we're going to call it here, guys, because uh, it's just a snapshot, and we got a couple looks. We're going to play the next two games uh, next time, and um, maybe convince you guys to go grab this, because this is pretty good. This game itself is a pretty good deal for the amount I paid for it. I can only imagine the rest of the games are just as good. So I'll see you guys next time here on Indie Snapshot. Later.